President Okufuado has charged newly sworn in Chief Justice Enin Yeboa to work hard to promote the rule of law. The former FIFA legal luminary now becomes the 14th Chief Justice of the Republic. I, Enin Yeboa, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, to the Republic of Ghana as by law established. To the Republic of Ghana as by law established. Chief Justice Enin Yebua now replaces former Chief Justice Sophia Ikufu. The current chairman of the Legal Aid Board provided legal service to football in Ghana and on the staples of the World Football Governing Body FIFA. He rose to become chairman of the Adjudicatory Chamber of FIFA and subsequently appointed chairman of the FIFA Ethics Committee. President Ikufuado charged him to be decent and disciplined. Expect decency, discipline, fairness, hard work, deep-seated respect for the rule of law, and the continuing modernization of judicial activities to be the hallmarks, too, of his era as Chief Justice. The judiciary has the onerous responsibility of being the bulwark of the defense of the liberties and rights of our people. It can only carry out that task well if it has their unalloyed respect. The president urged the judicial service to support him to deliver. I show Chief Justice in India Bois that I will be a reliable and trusted partner of the judiciary so that the executive and judiciary can cooperate in the spirit of mutual respect to entrench good governance for the advancement of our people. Justice Enin Yaboa assured Ghanaians he will guard jealously the image of the judiciary. I will continue to jealously guide the integrity of the judiciary as my predecessors in office have done. In doing so, Your Excellency, I will count on your support to secure the much needed financial resources for improved and efficient justice delivery. We're going to stay a little bit further on this story. We've been joined by Ansar who is the former director of the Ghana School of Law. Thanks very much for your time, sir. Thank you and good night. Now, a new good Chief day. Justice... A new Chief Justice has been sworn in. Can you tell us what your expectations are of him? Well, in terms of the volume uh, of the Chief Justice, you know, his elimination to the high office uh, this morning. <clears throat> and in terms of expectations, especially the president, uh, the, the name. You know, and uh, I suppose the uh, chief justice did mention uh, a few of them. Uh, his Excellency, the president, made it quite clear that he was uh, dissatisfied with the quality of uh, judgment writing. But that is, you know, uh, because the judiciary, in terms of resources, uh, has not been provided with the, the desired. Uh, resources over the years. And therefore, uh, one, the His Excellency, the President, uh, has um, uh, brought the topic. I believe that um, it will be the unbounded duty of the Chief Justice you know, to ensure that, first of all, uh, he will cooperate with the executive so that he will get the desired budgetary allocation to improve the judiciary's, um, first of all, conditions of service for judges and personnel of the judicial service. Next, uh, you have to improve the library resources of the judges. If the judges are to write good judgments, then the chief judges will have to ensure that the judges and personnel of the judicial service are supplied with the requisite set of the uh, laws of Ghana, as well as uh, the law report, because uh, the two great elements of our laws are legislation and case law. And if the judges don't have, you know, the law report, 
or the loss of their money. They will not be able to write good judgment. They will not be able to refer, you know, to the authorities, you know, that His Excellency the President mentioned. He expressed some worry, you know, about the level of study decisis in, um, in, in, the, in, the, in the system. Mm. But, you know, I expect the Chief, the Chief Justice to rise to the occasion. He should accept the challenge. It was the President himself. You know who mentioned it, and therefore uh, he should ride on this tidal wave, approach the the minister of finance, you know, to make sure that Article 127 dealing with the financial autonomy of the judiciary is upheld, and this he can you know get uh, from His Excellency the President. Next, he should ensure that the judiciary's infrastructure facilities are improved. We need more courthouses. The existing dilapidated courthouses must be refurbished. Uh, we need more computers for the scopists, right. the stenographers. Uh, they need uh, more resources for the judicial training institutes. You need more judges. You need more personnel for the judicial uh, service. Right, Mr. Then, Sari, um, you, you did mention the responsibility of securing confidence in the system uh, the new Chief Justice is inheriting. How best can he do that? Well, well you can do that by, first of all, I was there, and if you were there, the moment the new Chief Justice mentioned improvement in conditions for the judges, there was an applause. He was applauded. It means that, I mean, if he has to win their confidence, he must ensure that what goes into their pocket, you know, at the end of the month will be something to write home, you know, about. And then you should also ensure they expect him to also improve, you know, the, 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 the tools, they're working tools. You know, the, that is uh, retooling you know, the, the, the library for them, making sure that, you know, the stationery, they require, you know, all the necessities, you know, of life for their job must be there, their protection, their image, you know, dealing with the perception of corruption, all these, you know, uh, depend on one thing, resources, financial resources. That's why I started, you know, by addressing the issue of financial autonomy, you know, that the Constitution itself, you know, has um, said in its Article 127. Right, right. That's Thank you. Thank you very much That's for your time. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Mr. Ansar Sari is the former director of the Ghana School of Law, and he was sharing with us his expectations of the newly sworn in Chief Justice in Inyebwa.